Hey, we're back with the real deal. We're here in Lake Zor with Bill Dakota. Good to see you, Rich. Welcome. Senior editor of Bass East. This guy does it all in the <laughs> fishing world. Fellow fishing show host. Absolutely. The it's Bass great Barrel to be where here. the world meets the water. So what are we going to do here today? Well, actually, What's Rich, game early in the morning, we're, we, as you can see, we've got a lot of weeds along the shoreline. And as we get moving up river, they're going to get a little bit thicker, a little okay. bit closer together. We're going to work some top waters some poppers, some spooks, some frogs, some buzz baits, right. try to get a reaction bite, and then we're going to come back through this, okay, okay. and uh, try I'm flipping it. Now, he, he was here yesterday, right? We were. Yeah. And I heard that was a spectacular day. <laughs> it, it really <laughs> like, was. 19 pounds, so... Well, uh, yeah, we figured, uh, actually, Jerry Hammond, a, a okay. great angler, I think you know Jerry, Yes. Uh, came out. It's the best day he has ever had, ever had, and he had about well, about 18 pounds. About 18 pounds. That's a test right here yeah. to the place. So. And normally, 8, 10, 12, you get 10 to 12 pounds. Uh, you're in the money in the tournament here. So if you can nice. get a bag of fish that big, but there are some big fish. Well, let's go. All right, buddy. <laughs> let's hit it with let's some go. top water. So now it's late summer. we got fall coming on. How are we going to find these fish? Well, the, the water temperature is still close to 80. It's... It varies between 78 and 79, and it's been coming down. Right. So the grass are still going to hold the fish. If you can find a bait fish, that's where the bass are going to be. As the water temperature starts dropping, the bass will start start moving. The grass starts dying. They'll move from the grass to the wood, grass and wood and rocks. Okay. You know. So they're still they're Beautiful still fish. onto a late summer pattern, um, and we're just we're just going to try to uh, get a top water bite going and uh, see if we can't get them, but there's some really good, good fish in here. And the thing is, is what's nice about this particular uh, weed, weed flat is uh -huh. that it goes right up to the shoreline, and it's pretty deep. And it's right at the channel bend, and that's where we are right now. We're at nine feet of water. You know, I mean, I could put my, my, my bait right into the center of the road up here. Right. Popping frog. Popping frog. Popping frog. Popping frog. Yeah. Yeah. Reaction strike popping frog. I like that. Really, there's only two colors, light and dark. <laughs> you know, uh, most of the colored frogs are white on the bottom. So, and that's really what the fish see. Right. So it's personal choice. I mean, if you catch one on yellow, you're gonna throw yellow all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, but black or white are usually what most of the most anglers throw. And for example, um, Todd Hollowell fishes the FLW Tour, qualified for the tour and the um, championship, FLW championship, Forestwood Championship right. at Lake Lanier, by throwing a reaction strike uh, hollow body frog. And his uh, his favorite color is, is yellow. So he pretty much had a one-two punch. He'd have two rods rigged up, one with a popper and one with a um, a regular frog. He let the fish kind of tell him what they wanted. Right. And you can see it puts a, a, a totally different action in it. Yours is nice and quiet. Yes. The Skimmering displacement across. of water is to, you know, it's a dying frog out there and the water's jumping around, it's wounded. Or... Yeah. And, and they work fantastic anywhere. Open water, docks. Oh, it's like almost like a pop bar meets frog right there. Absolutely. Yep. What I like about the, the reaction is like, feel how soft this is. You know? Oh, yeah. That's a little... going to be no problem to... Yeah, the, I actually were fishing um, up on the Connecticut River out of Barton's Cove, my wife and I, and I was fishing thick weeds like this. Huge blow up that sucks it right in, just the way you want. It was a it was a crappie. Both hooks in its mouth. I couldn't
you trim them a little bit and you'll see you'll get a lot more uh, hook in action. Yep, that gives you that uh, side to side action. They make a potion and they make one that's called um, the wand, which is like a, a chapstick. And what we're gonna what we're gonna do is put some right on on your nice little frogs here. Just a one little drop. Look at that, and it goes every place. It'll be nice and skinny. That will slide. We're gonna give them a little bit on the inside. Little chips, oh yeah, feel that. That baby will slide wow, across there like he's water skiing. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be this is a little bit too light for what I'm doing, but. So sometimes, I know when I'm frog fishing, you get a big blow up, you miss them. What would you tell our viewers to try and do? Well, you want to throw back there right away. Um, and if they, if they like just hit the frog out of the water and they, and they like just miss the frog, if you're able to throw that frog right, right back, right. if you're fishing together as a partner and you, you've got it, throw it back. But if they don't take it, throw like a Senko or um, a Texas Reed tube but what's nice about the sinkhole is you can skip it, and mm -hmm. it's going to slowly fall. In thick uh, vegetation like we're yeah. fishing now, it's Texas rig. Yeah, so All you right, don't get hung up. absolutely, yeah. And sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Oh, that's a good but, tip. Yeah, it is a good tip, especially when it works. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got a follow-up bait. Okay. Look at him pull that drag out. That's on the brand. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, baby. Whew, that's a beautiful smallmouth, Richie. That's a good one. He, he, I'm gonna try to flip him right in here, but these smallies are, oh my God, he is a beauty. This is what I was talking about, guys. This is what I was talking about. On the Reaction Strike Crank, right? Yes, the brand, the brand new one. Look at that small. Coming, 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 coming. Yeah, all right. Get that for me, brother Richie. Look at that. What I did flipping in him was not the right thing to do, folks. He was coming this way, and the net is right under here. Bring him up, Rich. Look at that. Oh, you hold the fish. I got the bait. Look at this. Reaction strike crank bait. Right there. That's it. That is the ghost minnow. It's brand new. It's at the iCast show, and it is uh, It's awesome. And I just it's said, you know, we're trying to match the hatch is what we're doing. And uh, that's it, baby. That is a beautiful two and three quarter. And look at his stomach. Easy yeah. two and three quarter. He, I wish I had my scale with me because he might go close to three. But uh, Richie, you can put him back put him in back. for me. Wow. Keeping it real here with our buddy Bill. There, there he, he goes. goes. Look at him go.